Hey guys, R10 for Life here, here with fellow uploaders. The guy who's ahead, Chef Big Willie. Yesterday was day one of E3. We checked out a whole bunch of great games. We had such a great time. Today is day two. We're gonna do the same. I'm really looking forward to Sunset Overdrive, some Call of Duty, maybe even some Forza Horizon 2. So let's get in there and check it out. Hey, I'm here with Brian Eckberg, the community manager for Forza Horizon. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. What kind of role does the dynamic weather play in Forza Horizon 2? It's really one of sort of the proof points of the Xbox One version of Forza Horizon 2. There's so many things that make that version so cool. Things like day to night transitions, the fact that you can press a button and get online instantly. But weather is totally a huge part of Forza Horizon 2. We've never had rain in a Forza game and the community has been asking for it for years. What are some of the new key features in Forza Horizon 2 that weren't in the first one? So, uh, a new setting, we, we're set in Southern Europe this time around, it's a completely open world. You, anywhere you go, you can drive, you can bust through fences, and you can go anywhere you want. And the result is that this game is three times larger than the original Forza Horizon in terms of drivable space, in terms of where you can go. We got a whole bunch of new information for you guys. There's a lot of abilities that were revealed during this private screening that you guys normally wouldn't be able to know about. With your exosuit abilities, you can become invisible with your exosuit, as well as the fact that the player can slow down time during the game. You can hover a bit, it's not a traditional jetpack, it's just a small boost, it helps you get a height advantage on a lot of different enemies, as well as the fact that you can dash to avoid uh, any incoming bullets, damage, anything like that, explosions. I love the grenade that highlights campers. You throw that grenade and boom, they're highlighted and you shoot them. I mean, epic. I also really want to know how powerful that laser gun is because it looks like it just drops things immediately. So I'm curious to see how much waste you can lay to something with that. And there's also a new vehicle that was revealed. It's called the Hover Tank. Essentially a tank just hovers around. It has three different fire modes. One deals with infantry, one deals with vehicles. The third is more of a cluster bomb. You know, that whole private screening just blew me away. I cannot wait for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Hey everybody, we're wrapping up day two of E3. I was just wondering, what were some of your favorite parts of it? Well, we got to check out Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We got to see what the developers are doing with the game. The highlight of the day for me definitely was the private screening of Advanced Warfare, just because I used to play Call of Duty so much in my house. And you know, coming here to E3 to see it privately was amazing. And what about you, Chef? What did you really like? I love Nurburgring on Forza 5. It was amazing. It had all 11 miles in detail, immaculate track, and it was so much fun being in that cockpit driving machine. One of my personal favorites was Sunset Overdrive, all the bright colors, all the fast action. It was really awesome and really quick. Tomorrow we'll be back to wrap up day three. It's the final day of E3, so we're gonna try and get all the coverage that we missed today. Make sure you stay tuned to Xbox Upload tomorrow for all the final day E3 coverage, and we will see you then. Peace.